All right, everybody, how's it going? Welcome to the city of Trad in eastern Thailand. Now, this is the launching point for various different islands like Koh Chang, Koh Kut, Koh Mag. So I'm pretty sure tourists, travelers, overlook the city itself and just head straight to the islands. But we're gonna do the opposite. We're gonna spend a couple of days here, just checking out what's going on, seeing if it's worth visiting. Hopefully gonna have some tasty, tasty seafood. So you have. And yeah, we don't really have any fixed plan. We're just gonna head out and see what we can find. The only thing's for certain is right now, we are going for breakfast. And obviously being so close to the sea, Hopefully it's going to be seafood. We've got a nice little wat here. A nice temple. It's quite big, that. Yeah, so we got here last night. We came all the way from St. Labrie. So we've essentially come from as far west as you can get in Thailand, all the way to the east in one day. It was pretty terrible. We had to get like a eight hour bus to Bangkok and then like another six hour, seven hour bus to Trad. But we're here, sun's out, let's explore. It's really chill out, these streets are really cool. All right, so pretty much as soon as I knock the camera off then, we've come across this Chinese shrine, but I'll just show you this art. Some of this is really impressive. Really nice to look at. They go all along the wall on the outside. And there's some more over here. A bloke and a dragon. Yeah, so through this big gate, there's this absolutely beautiful Chinese shrine. So we'll just take a quick look at this. It's quite beautiful. And it's like half eight in the morning, so there's nobody here. <clears throat> wow, it's really impressive. Got the colour on it. Yeah, really beautiful. This is what I love here in Thailand. You just go wandering around little areas and you just always come across little temples, shrines, things like this that you didn't know were there and then... Yeah, it's just really nice. Right, onwards for some food. Oh, I love these smaller towns and cities. They've got such a chilled out feel. Everyone's just going about the morning daily lives. Street food vendors are already setting up. I don't know what they're selling, but... We'll be getting plenty of that later. We'll head to like a night market or something. Fresh market, I don't know. So the food has arrived and it looks delicious. So I've got just a huge plate of rice and just mixed seafood on. So we've got a crab claw, mussels, mantis shrimp, prawns, squid. What's this one? I think it's more mantis shrimp. Yes, that looks so delicious. And Leisha's has got a seafood tom yum. That looks so good. So we've got mussels. It's the same as mine, isn't it? Yeah. It smells so delicious. Smell I'm gonna try the broth. The tom is like a spicy, sour Thai soup. Mm, really, really sweet actually, not that sour. That broth I can just drink it. Yeah. <laughs> so good. Give it a mix up for us. <laughs> That's, I can smell it for me, it smells delicious. I'm gonna try this. That little muscle. muscle. What have we got there? Uh, Thin rice noodles. Yeah, we've got thin rice noodles, got some bean sprouts. That's what sort of spring on here. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Not usually because I'm so good, they're just sort of melting well. So yeah, this is essentially the seafood answer to Kalman guys. Um, chicken fat rice. What a breakfast. And then, also got this like spicy seafood sauce to pour over. Drizzle that all over it. Mm. 
We've got a side soup as well. Look at that. That looks well good. What do I try first? I try mantis shrimps. I've never actually tried mantis shrimps. Now these buggers are nasty things underwater, but not when they're on my plate. That sauce is so tasty, it's so hot, really spicy, but my head might alone. That's delicious. It's got a huge piece of squid. And a prawn. That is so tasty. Coriander as well. This is the first time that I've eaten an octopus like an actual octopus. Is it octopus in yours? Yeah. I don't have octopus in mine. It's really delicious. Really slight. Really? Yeah. We'll try a little mussel. Hey, not bad. Just a little crab claw. Wow, the crab's so tasty. It's a little claw. This is a super spot. You know it is because it's just full of locals in and out. Full time menu. Hopefully the brasses are good. And this is what you want for breakfast. When you're in a near enough seaside city in Thailand. I've just got to say, at least it's Tom Yum is absolutely delicious. It's so tasty. Mmm. That is incredible. And there's so much stuff in this. It's like a right old seafood mix up. Super little breakfast spot, this. Try it, it's off to a really good start. We were going to pay, but then I spotted there's like a little make your own dessert section. So we've got a bowl of miscellaneous goods. So let's give it a whirl. So you just essentially pick your own things, put it in the bowl and pour like this sweet coconut milky substance over it. Oh, it's sweet. Yeah, so we've got, I think these are little like pandan wormies. Just like little subtly flavored jellies. Big piece of taro, I think. And something interesting in here, actually. I don't know what it is. Some sort of fruit. It does look a bit banana, eh? I don't know. It tastes like honey. I don't know what that is. And then it looks like a piece of melon. Ten baht. Nice little way to finish off your meal. Not too bad. Hello, mate. So what do you have? So what do you have? <laughs> so that food came to a whopping 50 baht each, and then 10 for that little dessert, which is crazy good price for super fresh seafood. You can't beat it. That was so tasty. That green sauce brought everything together. It was so good, so spicy. Wow, that was delicious. So let's head down here. I think there's a huge reservoir in town. We'll go and check it out before it gets too hot because in the middle of the day, it's so hot here. Let's go and have a look. Pretty much just round the corner from where we went to eat, we found the Trad sign. Quintessential part of any city in the world. And it is on the huge reservoir so there's this massive reservoir in the heart of the city of Trad. And it's so nice. It's so peaceful. I just realised that seafood dish, 50 baht is like £1.15, like $1.50 US. And I just thought, where else can you get that much fresh seafood? Like we're, we're pretty much nearly on the ocean. 
for such a good price, such good quality, tasty food. <sighs> so good. It was genuinely so tasty. Just look at this. There's just different types of birds flying around. There's loads of like crazy insects. There's a boat there. Should we steal it and have a have a bit of a sail? Yeah, there is a cycle path. I'll show you down here actually. It seems all the way around the reservoir there's like various homestays, guest houses, hotels. And maybe they'll rent bikes and if they do, maybe we'll take one for a take one for a spin. So it seems they've newly built this. It looks like a brand new cycle lane. Can you see the blue lane? It's fenced off and it goes all the way around the lake. Yeah, let's just see, see what we get up to. Here in track you will see the current tie flag, which you can see there. But you'll also see this old flag, the white elephant on the red background, which is the old flag of Siam, Thailand. I've seen it hanging in a few places. Oh, what's this? Why is all the crack text crying? So do you have? Hui. Hui. Ah, to like for fertilizer. Yes. Oh no, the poor just don't have to be I think she was saying it's to like fertilize the plants maybe. The eggshells. What's this sate? She's going up some little sate on the street. They look really good. Sorry, Cab. I need to know what I like. I need to know what I like. I need to know what I like. How much? Sit back. How many? How many? How many? How many? How many? How many? So we're getting some of these. I don't know what they are, but the ladies frying them up fresh on the street. Do you want one as well? So it's either banana, like the thing we had in Bangkok, or Pukunkab. Goodbye. Because it's like coconut, isn't it? Like coconut mixed with like flour. Oh, yeah, yeah, it does. It does. So we'll just try it now, fresh. Is it a fresh one? Yeah, it's hot. Ah, it's a blister. We've just caught the fryer. We've just watched it come out. We're all mad. <laughs> Oh. Those things for its banana. Mmm. Pull it in five. Wow. So hot but so sweet and tasty. Mmm. Well hot. Any mafrao? Okay. So it's not coconut, I don't know what it is, but it's delicious. Cup and cap. Can on. Ah, okay. Cup and cap. Nice little snack for 10 baht. You can't go wrong. When you see someone making something as fresh as that, you just can't not get it. So it's very similar to what we had in Bangkok, but it's got some green bits in as well. Whatever it is, it's delicious. Now, this is quite smart, we found. We were just walking through town and we come across this huge wall. It goes around there and it's all like hand painted. It looks really nice. Again, you can see that old flag there. The old flag of Thailand. And yeah, it's really nice. And these are all places in the Trap province. At least I think so. Ko Chang. This is like a waterfront community, not far from the city. And here you can see that flag with the elephants on again. Yeah, it's really nice to look at that. These streets are really nice, I'm not gonna lie. Sorry, cab. The back streets. So Trat's actually quite an important place because back in the day, the Thai Kingdom swapped Trat and gave it to France, the French colony, for in return Chanterbury Town, which is near here. And then a few years later, 
the king you see over there swapped like a huge swathe of Cambodia like around Siem Reap in return for trap back very confusing but yeah and then track got its independence again this is all back in the the old kingdom of Siam before Thailand was modern day Thailand look at this what we've only gone and grabbed that was 20 baht what did she call them? Lam Yai I think she said yeah. how do you get in them biting them off them? yeah it's got a little shell on it oh yeah it's like a well, they don't look like lychees, but the inside is almost lychee-esque. We've had them once before because Anne, um, my Thai friend, gave us some. Oh! This is a two-hand job. Like little eyeballs. They're pretty tasty, got a stone in the middle, you have to spit out, but... Outside's quite sweet, quite tasty. Mmm! Here in Trat, literally all morning there's just been these driving past. Free car rides, car lights, happy, free brick and pretending. Which are essentially like advertisement vans. They're advertising like Miss Trat and then, I don't know, that was like some sort of car. I've just noticed the crisp they have here. Salted egg, Lay's, Walkers, Chili Crab. What's that? Seaweed. Anything else? What's that? Lobster? Yeah, so... You can get all kinds of crazy stuff. Some of them sound pretty good, don't they? That's it now. It's too hot. We're going to head back to the home and come out in the evening for some food when it's cooler. I forgot to say, our hotel here costs £6, like 260 baht, which is incredibly cheap. That's a night. That is so good. And it's actually quite nice. Here we are walking around the wet market in flip flops. Always an absolutely terrible idea. No. The sun's gone down, so we're heading out for some food. But before we hit the night market, we thought we'd just check out the day market, like the fresh market. But yeah, we're too late. Everything's pretty much shut, so. Night market it is for some food. Sorry, have. Is it any Kanom Chang Boran? So I think these are super traditional dessert from Trat. We'll find out. Alright, so this is the Trat night market, walking street food market. We're absolutely starving. We just took a quick lap through and there is so much choice for food. It's so overwhelming. And there's so much weird stuff because... Yeah, they just have lots of weird stuff here. Weird fruits, loads of dishes I've not seen before. Like, loads of people who sell pre-made meals. Sorry, you have. Like, there's just so many dishes. These are like unlaid eggs, definitely. I don't know what to get yet. Need to have a think. Yeah, those eggs look like unlaid eggs. Like the eggs that they pull out the chicken before it lays them, obviously. Kill it and take the eggs out. Never tried those. But as you can see, it's actually pretty massive and everyone's not just got one dish, everyone's got about 10 dishes on offer, so it's really hard to decide what to eat. But we'll try our best. Let's see what we get. Anything we get is going to be good. Hopefully seafood, obviously being a a town near the sea, that's what we want to be going for. These are really good. So these shrimpies are battered and thrown straight into here. What is that coconut? This. An Ani Mafrao? No. Ah, I don't know what that is. It looks good though. I know, they've literally just come out of there, so they're going to be so hot. I think we need to eat these, we need to eat these so I can fully concentrate. I'm too hungry to like, decide what I want. 
I just grabbed some massive shrimp off the lady fryer and down there. They literally came fresh out the fryer. And look at the size of these. That is massive. A full shrimp, I think it's the whole thing in there. She gave us this little sauce. Fishy out the bag. That's so hot. So we're hitting up with some of this. Oh, it looks sticky and sweet. It's like honey. Oh, it's so hot. Mmm. Oh, it's hot. Bumpy. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That is so good. What is that for? What is that for? Plum. No. Sweet chillin', I hate to say it, but... Kind of funny. so good. Super crunchy, though. But the outsides were really nice. They're so fresh. Wow. That is a top tier prawn. Ten baht. Shrimp. Wow. Ten baht. Cheers. How like that? You said Getting a nice fresh coconut water. What else has he got? Good, good. Ah, ice cold. Cooking cab. Oh, it's out the freezer. I know, I just pulled it out. How's that? Carry a bag a little bit. Oh, it's iced. <laughs> Is it frozen? It's frozen. Oh, no, it's in a bag. Oh, you can oh, it's just... got cellophane over it. Yeah. What? It's got cellophane over it. Over the lid. So I have to pop it with my finger. Gosh, you should have told me. It was like a maze giving me this drink. Good. Delicious. So hydrating. You can't beat a coconut water. In a climate like this, a tropical climate, Actually, Red Trat is the rainiest part of all Thailand. It receives the most rain. So, yeah, how about that? What should we get? These are really hot, but we've just got some super fresh fish cakes. And here's the butter. Hello, hello. Hello. Cup and cab. So, we've got a portion for 20 baht, of course. <laughs> and should we try them fresh off the press leash? These are well hot, she's literally just taken them out of that bubbling pot of oil. She was a sauce. I don't, I don't think, think they have a sauce. sauce. They look that tasty on their own. Do I see the whole thing? It's going to burn off. I think that was two. <laughs> oh. Wow. Wow. They are. So tasty, so fresh, so fragrant. Lemon glass, could be a lime. Lemon glass, lemon grass. They're well good. It's only back for a little portion. Might have to go back and get another portion of those. <laughs> they are that good. Oh, uh, something So here we're getting a fish more soup. Now I've never tried this, it looks really good. So I took a wild card and I've ended up getting a fish more soup dish. Can you see that there? Now this is super interesting. It smells good, it's got all kinds of stuff in. Now a fish maw is essentially the fish's BCD in diving terms, so it helps it like, it allows it to stay at a depth underwater, which is a strange little organ. And I think I'll go straight in and try them all. But uh, we've got all kinds, they're little blood cakes. Blood cakes, quail eggs, coriander, mushrooms, there's even like a chicken leg in here, a little chicken leg, it's ridiculous. 
Let's just try more. It's in like a, a snotty gravy again, kind of like I've had now. Mmm. Wow, that's really interesting. It doesn't taste so much. It's more like a texture. It's a really interesting taste. It tastes a bit like a Radna. Just pull those stuff I think she's got white pepper on it. I don't know what. You can see the big fat. She had it, she was swirling it round. Oh, it's noodles in it as well. It's like a full on dish, this. What should I try? Coriander's really good. Coriander brings it like a really fresh touch. There we go, we've got some chicken, a quail egg, we'll get some blood cake. That's a massive piece of blood cake. Oh, that's too much. Smaller piece. Wow. What are they? Bamboo shoots. So many different textures in this dish. So many different flavours. Mushroom. Some of the noodles. It's pretty tasty, but it's just strange. Yeah, there you go, fish more soup. So much going on in one little bowl, and it was only 35 baht. Probably will get this again. Ah, what is this? Thank you so much. Uh, any, any a like it? Canom. 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 That is so lovely. So, wow, I can't believe you just gave us that for free. We were looking at the stall before. What is it? Like a chocolate cake? Yeah. Like a little... That's really yeah. good, isn't it? <laughs> I can't. Is it just what you want in the middle of eating a fish more soup? Oh. Some chocolate cake? Is that like, can you eat that? Is it like bread? Go on, have a bite of that. I'm not no, it's on your lips. I'm gonna break every rule of life and eat this in the middle of my main dish. Butter cream in the middle. It's very sweet. Wow. That's really good. Mmm, chocolate. Eh? See, some Thai people are just so kind. It's really easy to see why people love it here so much. Anyway, let's finish the bad boy fish more soup. Just realised, I taste it and I forgot to actually put in my extra seasoning to, to make it how, oh shit, the chilli just blew all over the table. God, everything's blowing everywhere. I forgot to throw in my added seasonings. Oh, it's very, oh, be careful. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Didn't know what was going on there. So let's try it with all the, the add-ons mixed in, all the goodies. Yeah, the fish more doesn't really have a flavour in its own. It's more like an airy texture in the dish. Quite good though. Now this snack here, we think we have an idea what it is, but we're unsure because they sell a few various different types. Now let's unwrap it. There's a little, oh, there's a little stick. It's got as a water leaks out of it. It is in it, yeah. Right, so this, we think is, is it sticky rice? Yeah, it's sticky like, rice. Sticky rice? And then what do they do? So they use the water from, apparently there's loads of mangroves around this area, like really rich in nutrient mangroves. They use the water from the mangroves to cook the sticky rice. Really? And they soak the rice in it. I think I'm mad about that. Anyway, correct me if I'm wrong, but... I think it's like alkaline rich water. Yeah. And it, it goes this like off-white colour. Can you see it's like yellow? Oh, it's, oh, it's like... Is it soft? It's like a mousse. It's, it's, 
Wow. Oh, it smells... But I want to know why they do that. Is it because of the nature or something? I don't know. It smells like... It smells a bit like... Um, kombucha -y. You know what? What's that type of... Fermented. Like a bit fermented. Oh, wow. That is very, very, very strange. I'd be lying if I told you I loved it at, oh, wow. at first bite. It, it smells like alcohol. It tastes alcoholic. It tastes fermented. That's a love I hate. It, it starts off not so nice, so that actually when you start chewing it and you think, mm. And then it gives you like a flavour of marzipan. That is bizarre. Do you not think you get like a marzipan? A little bit. That is really bizarre. Yeah, that's crazy. It's definitely got like a fermented alcohol taste to it though. Well, that is extremely interesting. How much for that? Five baht. Five baht. That is interesting. But I everyone think seems to sell these. Like, everyone's, everyone's getting them. them. I will get that again actually. Grows on you. It does start off a bit like, what's that by then? I think it starts off like if you're drinking a brandy. And it's that taste like, oh, that's a bit sweet and a bit alcoholic. <laughs> And actually it's like, oh this is quite nice, it's like marzipan. I would get it again. Shall we to finish it? Yeah, go on, have it. 